English American Literature 2. The novel that we are going to analyze today is Joseph Conrad's Heart of Darkness. So let's start with background information about the author. Joseph Conrad was born in Poland and he suffered a lot in his childhood. His parents were exposed to a kind of exile, so they had to leave their country. And he lost his parents when he was a small child. So like many people in his age, he was educated at home. And he had a seaman carrier. So with this carrier, he visited many places, traveled many faraway places, but ended up with death. So he attempted suicide. But right after he got over his problems, he earned a master's certificate in British Merchant Service. So he earned his British citizenship at the end. And he became one of the most important authors in British literature. And he traveled to Dark Continent. It means Africa. And he wrote Congo Diary there, which then turned into Heart of Darkness that we are going to analyze today. Then after his journey to the Dark Continent, he came back to England, married and had two sons. And in 1924, he died of heart attack. In his uh, novels, in his works, literary works, he dealt generally with psychological, economical, sociological and political issues of his time. And when we are talking about Conrad's place in English literature, we can say that he is a transitional writer between realism and modernism, carrying elements from both sides. And he criticized way of living and manner of thinking of Europeans especially. So to, to do this criticism, he used symbols, inner and outer narrators, flashbacks, and some impressionistic features. In his works, he compared civilized and uncivilized a way of living and thinking, and he focused on the meaninglessness of these concepts. So his focus was from civilized society to the expansion of Western man's will to power. So he tried to show the hidden face of Western civilization in his works. Let us start with our analysis of the Heart of Darkness. Heart of Darkness mainly is about a civilization issue and focusing on transformation of subjective things into objective ones. And especially uh, it stresses man's will to power and use of science and technology to achieve his ends and desires to gain more power. And the main issue is the destruction of all values due to new materialism. So as a result of this materialism, there is the loss of human characteristics. So through the character of Mr. Kurt, actually Joseph Conrad criticizes civilization of Europe. Uh, because through this civilization issue, there is the deterioration of human being for the sake of materialistic desires. The darkness and the novel represents actually through nature of human beings. And darkness is in the hearts not in the dark continent, not in the complexion, other physical qualities of the people. Let's look at the overall summary of the novel. The novel is mainly about Marlowe, who is a steamboat captain and his unusual experience in African Congo. The novel opens in, uh, in a kind of scene on a boat named Nelly at Thames River. And Mr. Marlowe is telling a story about his voyage to the Dark Continent. And the story is narrated through one of the unnamed listeners on the boat, Nelly. We learn that Marlowe is the captain of a ship. And his mission is to go to African Congo and visit mysterious Mr. Kurtz and to relieve him from, uh, from Africa and bring him back to Europe. And throughout the novel, Marlowe learns about Mr. Kurtz before meeting him and his success. Uh, he travels up to the Congo River with his steamboat and he meets the savages, goes through lots of adventures and really had a frightful journey. When he finds out Mr. Kurtz, he was really ill and he doesn't want to go back. But then he 
uh, he chooses to go back, but on the way he dies and Marlon goes back to England on his own without Mr. Kirks. This is your story of the story of, of the novel. Let us analyze the characters one by one then. We have the narrator uh, and the name is not revealed to us. He is one of the characters on the boat to Lily and the story is told from his own point of view. Our main character is Charlie Marlowe. He is the captain of the steamboat and his main mission is to relieve Mr. Kirk from the dark continent. He seems not to be affected by chaos in African Congo and sees things in rational light. The other main character whom we meet at the end is Mr. Kurz. He is the chief of the inner station and a famous ivory trader. People around him see him as a kind of universal genius. However, he goes through a kind of change throughout the novel and becomes a savage and fanatic at the end. Other than Marlowe and Mr. Kurz, we don't know the names of the other characters. We know them only through their profession, professions. So one of the characters is a chief accountant. He tells a lot about Mr. Kurz to Marlowe. And his clothes are in stark contrast with the situation of the station. The station is falling apart, but he was wearing in white clothes and fancy clothes, which uh, is actually a kind of ironic situation. Another character is a general manager. He is the one who is responsible for company's actions in Congo. And he was so much concerned about his own success. He's a greedy person who is after power and money. And he fears that Mr. Kurz will, will take his position. The brickmaker is the character who is there to make bricks. But ironically, there is no material for him to make bricks. And Marlowe describes him as a kind of character empty inside. The pilgrims are the ones who are traveling on a steamboat with Marlowe. They are European agents in Central Station. They always carry wooden staves, but they don't have any religious aim. Rather, their aim is to make money from ivory trade. Cannibals are the ones are the natives hired as crew. Although they are cannibals, they are able to control their cannibalistic natures on the ship, and Marlowe respects them for that. Russian Trader is one of the characters whom we meet at the end of the novel. He admires Kurt very much, and Marlowe learns about Kurt's madness from him. Helsman is a native crew and pilot on the boat, and he was wounded fatally to death in the attack of the natives to the steamboat. There are not many more women in the novel, and one of them is Kurt's native mistress and she seems to be protective and loyal to Kurs until the end. Marlowe's aunt is another woman, and she is the one who finds a position for Marlowe as a captain. The doctor uh, examines Marlowe at the headquarters of the uh, company in, in Europe, and he is mainly interested in deadly effects of jungle on European minds. Intended is one of the women characters. She is actually Kurs' fiancé in England, and she doesn't know how, what kind of a change Kurt has been through. She knows Kurt as he used to be. So that's all for this unit.